What is happening, YouTube? Blair McKeeping here, representing Formula Golf up here in Northern Arizona, Flagstaff to be exact. I'm out here at Continental Country Club. They were nice enough to have me out so I can film a few videos. I want to show you a couple things that I'm working on right now, uh, mainly with my short game. Uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed, my last video especially, even though I hit good chips, my technique has been basically horrible for the last uh, month and a half or so. I've been really taking it back really far and my, right my left shoulder here goes down and then my right shoulder kind of goes up and covers and then kind of like a scoop out to the right. So I did some work with Grant on trying to uh, get more consistent of a strike. Like that technique works fine on normal flat lies, but as soon as I get to a, a, like a tough lie, like my home course steel cannon has a lot of Bermuda. As soon as I get to like a Bermuda lie, I can't really, can't really hit out of it because the way my angle is, or it's so far back here, there's just, there's nowhere for me to go. So as you guys might remember, uh, when I had Todd out at steel cannon on the, on the first hole that we played, he had, he had a dirty Bermuda lie and he is, big time on picking it up and then kind of just really using the bottom of the wedge to get the ball out of any lie. He, out of anyone I know, he can get the ball out of any tough lie. So I'm working on something really similar. I had a lesson with Grant. We both have the same as that golf coach. And a, a way to do that, and this is for other guys who struggle with taking the club back without breaking the wrist or, you know, taking it too low and low through, is put a ball right around seven inches behind, uh, behind your normal ball that you're going to chip with. If you take it back too low, you're going to hit this ball. And if you come down too low, you can you can sit this ball. So what I'm trying to do is not let my handle go too far back, especially not past this ball. It's more of a, of a more of like a little bit of a, a, a hinge move here. And just let it go over the ball and keep you on a good pass. Have it in line with your target. So take it back just much better. It's, it's a lot easier to get great contact with the ball instead of hitting like a kind of like a hook shot or, or a lot of times for me they either come out really hot or come out really dead so I'm trying to really consistent get my uh, trajectory and shots consistent with the right spin. Perfect I'll show you guys what it looks like from behind. Right here I got a 56 degree going towards this target. There's a big kind of left to right slope. Uh, in the past, if you, you guys might have noticed, if I took it back this way, you can see my left shoulder go down and my right shoulder back up and then back out. So this is just going to be kind of like a gentle pickup. And then let it go. A little to the right, but not bad at all. So if you guys are ever struggling with that, be sure to put a ball seven inches behind your your uh, original ball. It'll really help you get a consistent strike, which means getting up and down more, which means lower score, all that good stuff. Remember everyone, whoop, keep on grinding.